message for the singles. Number one, don't rush it. It takes time. Singles often get teased by people around them, especially when they're at the right age already. And with all the many factors, that's where pressure creeps in. However, this should never be a deciding factor for entering into a relationship. Never let it creep into your system as this will only lead to many wrong decisions. Number two, grow. There are many things that you can't do when you're already married. So while still single, make the most of it by learning new things. Bake, cook dishes, gain new friends, build connections, learn a skill, travel when COVID's gone, and many more. When you're growing, waiting never gets boring. accountability partners. You have to select friends who will share the same values as yours, who will pray for you, who will openly correct you when you need it, and give sound and godly advice. So they are the kind of people whom you can trust. Number four, guard your heart well. You have to guard your heart well. We don't want to present to your future spouse a heart that is battered, wounded, or bruised from previous relationships. Do you? So settle your issues in the past and move on from rejections in any forms and forgive those who have hurt you in any way. Number six, do not idolize a person, a relationship, or a marriage. This is dangerous. When these happen, people can become obsessive, frustrated, discouraged, or even violent. So to get the order of things, put God first and trust God's ways. So let God be the foundation in everything. Trust me, His ways are perfect and secure. Last and the most important one is, yes, you're right, pray. Nothing beats prayer because first, it is total reliance to your ultimate matchmaker, who is God. Second, when you pray, it keeps your hopes up. At the same time, it helps you maintain a positive attitude while waiting. And as uh, what I usually uh, tell my friends and myself as well, to really specifically pray and intentionally pray for the right person because marriage is a lifetime commitment and you can take it back when the way gets done. By your grace, I feel the breezy wind. By your grace, the heat of the sunshine touch my skin. Feeling your warmth of embrace by your grace.